All right, let's go. So here's the room. I know a lot of you guys have seen the setup on stream as well as on TikTok, but I know a lot of you guys have also wanted to see a more in-depth look of my room. In 2020, everybody was building a setup at home. For school, for work, or even to just have fun and game. Well, that was me. And I made a setup tour of mine. That video made me take content seriously. Since then, I've chased my dreams, accomplished some big goals, and all of that has led us here. Welcome to my new setup. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Lo. I'm a 19 year old content creator and streamer. And in 2023, I will be the creator that bridges gaming and lifestyle. This year, I've moved away from a perfect aesthetic and prioritized functionality. At the end of the day, this is my workspace. I stream here, I edit here, I film here. So please don't judge me if it's not perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I've always said the desk is the most important part of a setup. A large desk with open space is essential, especially for content creators. My desk features two Home Depot butcher blocks that are unfinished. I have two Alex drawers that I've had pretty much since the beginning of my setup. And this left side of the desk is motorized to give me ultimate adjustability. So yeah, that's the desk. I love it. Moving on. Monitor orientation comes in all shapes and sizes. I mean, literally look at my past setup. And even this one. Yeah, uh, we'll get into it. For my gaming monitor, this is one of the pieces that I've had for a really long time. I don't know the exact name, but it's an Alienware 1080p 240Hz IPS panel, and it's white. There's definitely better gaming monitors out there, especially in this day and age, but I don't need anything better. But if a company wants to send me one, hit me up. Asus. Right above my gaming monitor, I have a BenQ 144Hz IPS 27-inch monitor as well. Also, the Alienware was 27 inches, so they match perfectly. I legitimately just use it for Discord and Spotify, and then we have the Samsung Odyssey Arc. It's a 55 inch beast of a display. The sheer size, girth is wild, and it's not cheap either. $3,500. Yeah, good thing I didn't have to pay that. Overall, it's really cool and eye-catching, but I can't say it's super practical. But I do like it. My wallpaper is from Wallpaper Engine, as I'm sure you can assume. And I could tell you, but I could also tell you to go to my Twitch chat and type exclamation mark wallpaper and you get the same answer. So, so yeah, go do that. There's a ton of different ways to mount your monitors, and there's not a right way or a wrong way. Actually, I lied. There's definitely some wrong ways. But there's multiple right ways. Here's how I do it. I try to limit how many things I have mounted to the desk. If a desk has a ton of mounts, it just looks kind of weird. But yeah, I use a Vivo extra tall monitor mount, but I take off the third pole. So it's just two poles stacked on each other. And then of course the two monitors are mounted, but I bought a third monitor mount. The extra monitor mount is basically my overhead mount now. And the arc is not mounted on a monitor mount. I'd be too scared to mount that thing. It's at least 100 pounds. Let's talk about what peripherals I use. Peripherals are what you use to interact with your computer. It needs to feel good, improve your experience, experience and maybe even give you a competitive advantage. So let's go through what I have slash use. I'm very picky with my mice, but my daily driver is a G Pro Superlight with uh, BTL grips and Tiger Ice mouse feet. It's really hard for me to switch from this. I've tried multiple other mice. I have a Viper Ultimate, which is pretty much just there to look good. We got Kilo on it. We got a low logo on it, custom painted. Yeah, there's a little scratch on it. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even use it. Big shout out to Nacho Customs though. He is mad talented. And if you guys are looking for a custom mouse, go hit him up. The last mouse that I have is the Tens mouse. So I have the box right here, but I don't know where the actual mouse is. But on the box, it shows that I bought the small one, which was a big mistake. My hand's too big. It's skinny, but it's big. Okay, pause. Not like that, not like that, not like that. Anyways, Tens, if you're watching this, please send me a medium or final mouse. Thank you. I will use it because I actually like the mouse. It's just too small. All right, keyboards. I could talk about this forever. I have close to 20 high ground keyboards on my keyboard shelf and in boxes. Maybe I can do a full video on my collection, but I'll show you my two favorite as of now. We got the Summit 65. I switched the keycaps on this just to fit the winter theme, but honestly, this keyboard is wild. For a pre-built keyboard out of the box, 290, and you're not gonna wait seven months to get it off of a group buy, I'd say it's pretty good, especially for High Ground's first shot at making a keyboard like this. This is my second favorite keyboard right now. What you're looking at is a white Gundam keyboard, also from High Ground. It's not a Summit keyboard, so this one is much cheaper. They're both both modded and sound great. But honestly, out of the box, they sound really good as well. I definitely recommend. My current mouse pad is also from High Ground. It's part of their Gundam collection as well. It's like this blueprint themed desk mat and it looks so good on a wood countertop. And then on my other desk that I usually film unboxings or just other videos on, I have High Ground's Black Ice mouse pad. Moving on to my headset, I've jumped around a bit, but I've always gone back to the DT990s, mainly because they're open back and I can hear my environment. But recently I've been using these JBL Quantums, specifically the 100T version. They're pretty nice though and I can't complain. And I love that they make the sound that the 
headsets JBL speakers make when you turn them on. And yeah, definitely want to try some more headsets in the future. So my mic, the one I'm talking into right now, it's the Shurstrom 7B. Most of you guys have probably seen it. You guys probably know it. You know what it sounds like. There's a reason why so many people use it. And it's good. I like it. But it's kind of boring. Literally every streamer has it. And I've had it for a few years, so I kind of just want to try something new. I have it mounted on the Elgato Low Pro Boom Arm. I definitely prefer this form factor over the traditional boom arm and then all of that's connected to the go xlr which i have a love hate relationship with like earlier today it just crapped out on me and then all of a sudden it's good now i hope i mean if you guys have seen this video next let's talk cameras my main webcam is the canon r6 with a 16 millimeter f 2.8 lens for that wide shot i use a blue compass to mount it as well as a joby ball mount thing whatever it's called then of course i have the stream deck xl it was sent to me so do not yell at me for not using all the buttons. Okay, so what do I have to power this entire setup? Let's check out my PC. So a little while back, I ditched the Lee and Lee 011 dynamic and my whole custom PC, and I have a pre-built, but it's not your normal pre-built. This pre-built was sent to me from iBuyPower and it has a 3090 and 12900K. And while those specs are great, I just love the case. It's the Height Y60. I definitely think it's case of the year and I had the 011 for so long that I just wanted to try something new. I will definitely be making some upgrades to make it more aesthetic, make it more white. Expect the video soon. All right, now let's talk about lighting. Our main light is the Elgato key light mini i love how i have it mounted it just makes it cleaner and there's less clutter on the desk i have another key light on the other side as well as this mount i mainly just use this for tiktok i don't actually use it normally then i have this desk light that i really like it's more of like a reading light but I, I don't read. It definitely reduces strain on my eyes, especially because my eyesight has gotten so bad since I became a full-time streamer. Moving on. I think accessories are what makes a good setup a great setup. Of course, plants can add to your setup, but I think the best accessories are like small things that you've gained and you've collected over time. I think decorating a setup just to decorate a setup kind of has no meaning and it kind of just feels bland and you'll get bored of it. I don't know. That's just me. There's also this calendar. I got it from Amazon if anyone was wondering. I mean, it's just a calendar. It is pretty aesthetic though. All right. Let's Let's talk about my beautiful white Mavix chair. I'm coming up on two years with this thing. I am sponsored by Mavix. That's why I have this super cool custom headrest. But seriously, I really do love these chairs. From the aesthetic to the comfort, it just fits me. So if you're interested, the link in my bio will save you some cash. Obviously, I game and stream on my PC. But when it comes to editing, it's a completely different story. I love Final Cut Pro. And the new Macs have gotten so good. I have the 16 inch M1 Max model, 32 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage in silver. I'm a hardcore Apple fan for sure. Lastly, I have this low sign that I love. I got it on Etsy from a vendor, but I think the placement is mwah, chef's kiss, especially for my stream. The only thing I don't love about it is that it flickers no matter what I make the shutter speed on my actual camera. That's the only thing I don't love. But I mean, overall, like that's kind of it for everything in my setup. I was super excited to build this setup just because it is a lot different than my last place. My last place had a ton of space. This place is limited. I'm in an apartment. I'm under the stairs. There's a concrete wall. It almost challenges your creativity and makes you create something. Not with nothing, but with limitations. I love the concrete wall and the stairs. It all kind of adds to the aesthetic and makes it feel different and uniquely mine which i love so yeah that's the setup drop some questions down below for me or about the setup i'll do a q a soon if you're still here i appreciate you subscribe if you are new we're just getting started peace